The Supreme Kai, the Kaioshin, are the celestial creators of the Dragon Ball world. The literal gods of creation, you would think they would be extremely powerful, possibly equal to that of the gods of destruction, but the answer is, most of them really aren't, especially the Supreme Kai that we first meet in the Buu Saga of Dragon Ball Z. So how strong is the Supreme Kai? When you examine the way that he is portrayed by Toriyama in the manga and in the anime, of course, by Toei, he doesn't really seem that impressive, but there are strange abilities that he can do, and there are certain things that he states that make him a bit stronger than you may remember. So on this video, we're going to take a little bit of a deep dive and quickly figure out how strong the Supreme Kai of Universe 7 actually is. Raid Shadow Legends is not your everyday candy and rainbows RPG. It's the world of dark fantasy, and now it's available on mobile and PC. You can play the game cross-platform with the same account. Raid has introduced the highly anticipated Battle Pass. Season 1 is live right now and you can win awesome awards including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and a new epic and legendary champion by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. Go to the description on this video and click the special link if you're new and you'll get 200,000 silver plus one free champion by the name of Tree Feller and all this treasure will be waiting for you in your inbox in the game. But hurry because those rewards are only going to be available for the next 30 days. Get your champions, recruit more, train your champions up, give them weapons, equip them, build up an awesome team. There is so much to do in Raid Shadow Legends. Don't wait any longer. Click the link down below and try it out. So the actual strength of the Supreme Kai has been a topic of debate for quite some time because we're not really given a clear indication in the series as to how strong he is. Now for this video, I'm going to talk specifically about the Supreme Kai that survived Majin Buu, not the Grand Supreme Kai or the other ones, and not the fusion between him and Kibito. We're talking about specifically just Supreme Kai by himself. When he first shows up in Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo is spooked. Now obviously, Piccolo being spooked to me has always been more so the fact that Kami was inside of him. And if you remember, Kami was the god of Earth and he had knowledge of the celestial beings. He knows being the god of Earth who the Supreme Kai is and he has familiarity with the god hierarchy because he's the one who told Goku and informed him of King Yama and Kaiosama and all these characters from the other world. So it's more so the fact that Piccolo slash Kami, the Super Namekian, were shocked that Supreme Kai would be on Earth. Now, in Dragon Ball Z, Supreme Kai straight up says that he's more powerful than Frieza and could have gotten rid of him. So when you're scaling this guy, he has to be at the bare minimum Android Saga level. But the reality is he's stronger than that. Now, obviously, the question will come to mind as to why the Supreme Kai never got involved in the fight with Frieza. But that can mostly be chalked up to the fact that the gods don't get involved in mortal matters unless it actually affects them, so to speak. And I don't think Frieza was really affecting him, but we found out in Dragon Ball Super that he's not very good at his job, which is why the rankings of the universes for the Tournament of Power were so low. Nor is he that powerful. Case in point, the way he's portrayed in Dragon Ball Z, we have him being utterly in awe and in shock as to how strong Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta have become. But strangely enough, they're still able to suppress or at least hold down Super Saiyan 2 Gohan while Bobbidi's minions were able to take his power. Of course, this is all part of the plan to find out where Bobbidi's hiding, but the fact they were able to do that should kind of tell you that these guys aren't weak. However, I don't believe that has anything to do with actual power. See, the thing about the Supreme Kai you have to remember is that he's sort of like the polar opposite, the antithesis of Bobbidi. Whereas with Bobbidi, you have a character that is not physically strong, but he has strange magical abilities that regular mortals just can't do. And the same thing goes with Supreme Kai. The reason he was able to hold down Gohan like that is not because he's stronger than him. It's because of the fact that he has weird celestial abilities that regular mortals just don't have. It's sort of like hacks. But yet later on in the very same arc, in fact, very shortly after, we have a scene where Goku is straight up threatening to kill the Supreme Kai if he doesn't get out of the way and allow him to fight Majin Vegeta. Goku's got his hand out and he's straight up telling this guy, I will kill you. And Supreme Kai backs down. Now, obviously, if Supreme Kai was stronger than Goku, there would be no reason for him to back down. 
And remember, Goku was not as Super Saiyan 2 when he did this to Supreme Kai. He did not transform into that power until they went back to the battlefield and both he and Vegeta powered up and unleashed their new, well, maybe not new, but their upgrades, I guess you can say, in power. And they had that great epic fight. Now, the Supreme Kai during this whole thing, this whole time, is just portrayed as being this... I mean, I'd hate to say it, but he's kind of a wuss, really, when you think about it, because he just ends up getting humiliated during the initial fight with Boo, and as a guy who's supposed to be a god of creation, he's supposed to be Beerus' opposite, in a way. It's kind of funny that he's just this weak, but of course... In Dragon Ball Super, the reason why the gods of destruction are stronger than the Supreme Kai's, the gods of creation, is because you have to be stronger to destroy than to create. Now, that being said, don't forget that Beerus was also trained by Whis, and there's no indication at all in the series that Whis trained Supreme Kai. And if he did, he'd probably be a heck of a lot stronger. So how strong is the Supreme Kai? We know he's not Super Saiyan 1 Goku level from the Buu Saga, and we know he's not Super Saiyan 2 level at all. We know that. And this is Dragon Ball Z scaling, not Dragon Ball Super scaling. And we know he's definitely stronger than Frieza. Well, the only way to get a clear answer, we have to go to the guidebooks. Now, unfortunately, the Japanese guidebooks don't provide provide a lot of data on this, but there is a Spanish guidebook called La Manga Legendaria, which straight up tells us how strong he is. Well, not straight up tells us, but it definitely speculates strongly that the Supreme Kai is equal to full power Goku during the Cell game. In other words, the Goku that fought Cell for that time in the Cell game, that's how strong the Supreme Kai is according to that La Manga Legendaria. Now understand something, when it comes to guidebooks, you can't always take them at face value because a lot of times guidebooks contradict the series and are retconned later on. Plus, in addition to that, you have to remember that this is not only a guidebook, it's one that was not released by Shueisha in Japan. Shueisha had nothing to do with this, neither did Toriyama. It's something that came out in Latin America, and even though the Latin Americans have connections with Shueisha, we don't really know how much participation Toei and Shueisha had with this release, and we definitely don't know what Toriyama's involvement was, because we don't even know what his involvement truly is with the other guidebooks, the Daizenshus and Chozenshus. It's pretty much been perceived by me and a lot of other Dragon Ball historians that Toriyama doesn't really get involved in this as much as people think he does. He'll make a couple of statements here and there and help out, but he's not writing these things from scratch, so there are creative liberties taken. But to me, that somewhat makes sense because it would explain as to why Piccolo would be kind of awestruck by him. But at the same time, you have to also remember that even though full power Goku from the Cell games is stronger than Super Namekian and Piccolo, Super Namekian and Piccolo in the Buu Saga is stronger than he was in the Android Saga or the Cell Saga. He is a lot more powerful. So you really can't justify that being the reason as to why he was freaked out. I think it was more so the Kami inside of him, like I said earlier in the uh, video. So that's what La Manga Daria says. Supreme Kai is Goku full power level, which again, it makes sense because that Goku could not touch Majin Buu. Obviously, Goku in the Buu Saga is astronomically more powerful, even without Super Saiyan 3. Even his base form is beastly in the Buu Saga. So, Supreme Kai just can't hack it with them anymore. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Does the La Manga Jindaria, you know, scale make sense to you? Or do you think he's stronger or weaker? Let me know. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, check out these as well. And I hope you have a great one.